Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we have taken it up from the topic of trigonometry. And we are continuing of our series of questions on JWE advanced. So today's question, we have taken it up from the year 2009. And if you see the question says that if the expression is given to us that says sine raised to 4x by 2 plus cos raised to 4x by 3 is equal to 1 by 5. Then we have to find which of the four options is correct. And if you see the options that are given to us, the first option says tan square x is 2 by 3. Second option given to us says sine raised to 8x by 8 cos raised to 8x by 27 is equal to 1 by 125. Third option that tells us is tan square x is 1 by 3. And the fourth option tells us sine raised to 8x upon 8. Cos raised to 8x upon 27 is equal to 2 by 1. So we have to find out which of the following options are correct. And this is a multiple choice question because we can have your multiple answers correct. So we need to figure out all the answers which will be correct in this case. So if I solve it or if I try to solve this question first, I understand I can write the sine raised to 4 as sine square square as well as cos raised to 4 also I can write that as cos square x the whole square. Now if I try to solve this, I can write this as sine square x the whole square upon 2 plus if I am trying to convert this also in the same trigonometric form, I can write this cos square x as 1 minus sine square x because of the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So 1 minus sine square x the whole square upon 3 is equal to 1. Now we have the expression with us and if I have the expression, I know now there is only one unknown sine square x. So to make the question easier, let's put sine square x as some other variable, let's say t. So if I put sine square x as t, my question becomes t square by 2 plus 1 minus t, the whole square by 3 is equal to 1 by 5. So now it becomes, if I try to solve this, becomes t square by 2 plus 1 minus t the whole square that is 1 minus 2t plus t square upon 3 is equal to 1 by 5. If I cross multiply I get this as 3t square. This 2 if it gets multiplied with all of them becomes 2 minus 4t plus 2t square. And the denominator will have 6 equal to 1 by 5. Now, if you bring that 5 also on the other side, it goes in the numerator, gets multiplied with all the terms. So, if you first solve this, 5t square minus 4t plus 2 multiplied with 5 is equal to 6. So, you get here 25t square minus 20t plus 10 is equal to 6. So, if you solve it, you get 25t square minus 20t plus 4 is equal to 0. If I try to solve this expression now, so if I want to solve this quadratic equation splitting the middle term, I want to find two numbers whose product will turn out 25 into 4, that is 100. And if I add them, it should become minus 20. So if I try to find the two numbers, I get that 100 can be written as minus 10 into minus 10. And minus 10 and minus 10 sum also becomes minus 20. So my two numbers are minus 10, minus 10. If I try to split the middle term, I get this as 25t square minus 10t minus 10t plus 4 is equal to 0. From the first two terms, I have 5t common. From the next two terms also, I have 2 common. So if I take out 2 common, 
5t. So you are left with 5t minus 2 minus 2. You get 5t minus 2. So what you're getting here is 5t minus 2 the whole square is equal to 0. That gives you 5t minus 2 is equal to 0. t becomes 2 by 4. So you get t as 2 by 5. Now you resubstitute t as sine square x. So it becomes sine square x is 2 by 5. You get this sine square x. Now, if you see the options, we need tan square x. So to have tan square x, first we need cos square x because sine upon cos becomes tan. So if I have sine square x with me, and if I want to find out cos square x, I can write that as 1 minus sine square x. That makes it 1 minus 2 by 5. 5 minus 2 by 5. That is 3 by 5. So you get cos square x as 3 by 5. Now you have sine square x. You also have cos square x. If you solve this to so get tan square x. So tan square x becomes sine square x upon cos square x. So that makes it 2 by 5 upon 3 by 5. If I cancel 5, you get tan square x as 2 by 5. So out of the two options that are given for tan square x to us, we got the correct one which says tan square x is 2 by 3. So option A is correct. Now from the remaining two options that is B and D, we need to figure out this entire expression. Sine raised to 8x upon 8 plus cos raised to 8x upon 27. Is that equal to 1 by 25 or 2 by 125? So let's figure that out. So we need to find sine raised to 8x. Now we have here sine square x with us that is 2 by 5. If I want to find sine raised to 8x, I will take fourth power on both sides. So if I take fourth power on both sides, I get this sine raised to 8x. This becomes 16 by 5 into 5, that is 25. 25 square is 625. So you get 625. Now, I want sine raised to 8x with a denominator of 8. So if I use a 8 here, dividing both sides by 8, this gives me 8 ones are 8. So, so you get sine raised to 8x by 8 is 2 by 625. Now let's try to develop cos raised to 8x by 27 also. We have cos square x with us. That is 3 by 5. Again, if I take the fourth power on both sides, you get cos raised to 8x is equal. 3 raised to 4, that is 81 by 625. So if I try to solve this again, cos raised to 8x, if I divide by 27, I get 81 by 625 divided by 27. 27 ones are 27 threes are. So we get here 3 by 625. Now we have this sine raised to 8x by 8. We also have cos raised to 8x by 27. If you add both of them, let's see what you get. So first part you had 2 by 625. Next part you had 3 by 625. If you add them, you get this as 5 by 625. 5 ones are 5. 2s are 10, 25, so 5, 5. So you get that as much by 125. So you get the expression that sine raised to 8x by 8 and cos raised to 8x by 27 is equal to 1 by 125. And if you see the option that matches here, we have got this expression as 1 by 125. So B is the correct option out of B and D. So we have got two correct answers with us and the two correct answers are options A and I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where we need to figure out values of tan square x and values of such expressions given to us in the powers of 8 for sine as well as cos. So what we did was we just simplified this, tried to convert it into one particular variable that is sine square x or one particular expression sine square x. Once we figured out that in terms of sine square x, we just substituted that as t. So we got a quadratic equation, splitting the middle terms, we got the values of t that repeated 2 by 5 and 2 by 5. 
because both of the values were 2 by 5. We resubstituted, got sine square x 2 by 5, we got cos square x as 3 by 5 using the identity. And once we got sine square, cos square, we directly got tan square, that was 2 by 3. That gave us A option correct. Then we tried to simplify our expression in terms of sine raised to 8x. So we take, took the fourth power to sine square x, we got sine raised to 8x by 8 as 2 by 625. We got cos raised to 8x by 27 also, 3 by 2, 625. Just added them, we got the answer as 1 by that made our option B also. So we get the answers here as option A and I'll meet you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Okay. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of GWT. Thank you.